My name is Colin McAndrew. My project was Global Citizens Mapping the Future, uh, starting in 2015 with the aim of basically creating detailed maps for the Kingdom of Lesotho, which is a small country located within side of South Africa. So our goal with the maps was really to create data and map out the country, map the cities, map the villages, the towns, the communities. We ran Mapathons, which are 24 hours of mapping, and that would just be a huge sprint of edits. So we'd have like a few hundred thousand edits in one day, and that would allow us to map out a huge portion of the country. They had a lack of um, infrastructure for emergency services because they didn't have the maps to be able to reach people within the required time. This caused a lot of deaths that could have been avoided if the maps were there. As well, how that helps them is it allows them to uh, plan better, it allows them to work with their infrastructure better. So there's just a range of advantages to using the maps. So how, how do you build a map is we have a satellite image of the country. Then you basically drag and drop roads and trees and just label them. And then that gets approved by uh, professional mappers and then, then that gets published on OpenStreetMap, which is the website we were using. Over the few years that we spent with Global Citizens, uh, Lesotho became the most mapped country in all of Africa. So that meant by percentage it had the most edits than any other country in all of Africa. So once you have that data and that information about where flooding happens, where schools need to be put, where fire stations, police stations, hospitals need to be put. Once you understand where you can put them, you can build them more effectively and more efficiently. You can only know how to solve a problem when you know exactly where the problem is. We partnered with a Swedish company called Mapillary. Mapillary basically provided the 3D uh, street view in, in countries and we sent students every year, TY students from Port Marnock to Lesotho to help uh, you know, build that database of 3D pictures, 3D street view. When I was in fourth year school, I was offered the opportunity to travel to Lesotho. There was a van in Lesotho that went out with cameras in every window, and so you'd go out into the car and you'd just drive, and then you'd upload this imagery online. At first, you didn't really realize how successful even it was gonna be, and you just thought that this is just, that's uh, just kind of, we're just drawing some pictures on a map on, online and then only after that you realise the, the effect that it's having. By now I think we nearly have the full country of Lesotho in 3D as well in Street View. We entered the regionals of the Unsocial Innovators, then we came to the nationals and I remember we won the Make Our World One World award. The significance of that can't be understated because that became the philosophy behind our project to make our world one world. So back in 2016, we entered into the Young Social Innovators for the second time, and that's when we ended up getting the gold award. And I think like that was one of the best days of my life even. And it was just mind blowing to be, to like look at all the different schools and the different projects that were coming from students who are barely 16, 17. And like the amount of, you know, innovation ideas and actual change that they can make. We were in school every single day. The caretakers in the school would be slagging us for saying that we'd be like, like, oh, what are we doing with our summers and stuff. We were uh, nominated and sent to the SAIT World Cup in the Philippines, Manila. There we presented, competed against 30 other countries and came second in the world. A year later we travelled to Odessa, Ukraine. We won the SAIT World Cup as world champions. We were involved with the ambassador at the time and the Minister for Local Government and Chieftainship as well. So they visited our school. King of Lesotho visited our school as well and they were quite impressed with what we were doing. For them it was uh, thinking about how they can now use this to further improve their own country because they actually also used it in their census. For the first time I think that the error margin used to be 33% and that went down to under 5% because of using our maps. The, the fact that it was uh, a challenge to solve a real problem, you know, there was nothing abstract about it. It was very real and very concrete. I would have to bow my head in, in humility to their genius. Uh, they took it beyond what I was capable of doing and I've, I've no, I'm not embarrassed to say that. And I think that's what education should be, particularly education at a second level. I applied to an internship and this was the main thing I spoke about. So even three years later, it becomes relevant. And I think out of all of the other stuff I've done since 
YSI, this was what the employer was most interested in. It keeps me going. A lot of the days when you know you don't feel that you're good enough to do something, I remember that I before this I did something and it succeeded and it actually made an impact. And that just keeps me going on to the next thing. I'm studying international relations at the moment. Being involved in the projects and the interest that it generated for me has, has it pushed me in the direction that I've gone now. We are just getting this on behalf of a huge amount of people that were involved. Mr Fitzgerald, Ms Cronin, they made sure we went for it and we did our best. There was the group from Fingal County Council led by Karen Staunton. And Miss Etna Dini, who was our principal, who was and still is so supportive. Been one of the most rewarding moments in my teaching career, and I, it will never leave me. One lunchtime, I decided to join YSI, and it's it's just completely shaped my personality after that. I've still continued to map, and I've still continued to work on projects and find new projects where I can make a difference. I think the impact that the project has had has continued since, and it's just great to be recognised for it. It definitely does motivate you to keep making change.